Good day, everyone. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. Today, we'll be looking at a CAPE integrated mathematics question in module one of the syllabus, which is foundations of mathematics. And the topic for today is laws of logarithms. All right. I know that logarithm can be a very challenging topic for some students doing CAPE integrated mathematics, but I'll try my best to make it a bit simple. All right, so here we have our question which says using appropriate laws of logarithms show that the log of 96 minus 2 log 36 minus log 2 plus 3 log 3 equals 0. All right, now it is important to know that these logs are base 10, all right? You should know that once, once you don't see the base, you automatically know that it is log base 10. All right, so let's write our solution. So we're given log of 96 minus two times the log of 36 minus log of two plus three log three, all right? Now, let me just refresh your memory on some of the log rules. All right, so laws of logs. All right, so the first log rule that I'll be using here is the one that says if I have n times log of a, that can be written as log of a to the power of n, all right? So basically, wherever I see a constant in front of the log, I'm going to bring that up, all right? So let's go. So this is now equal to the log of 96 minus, I'm going to carry the two up as a power, so that's going to be the log of 36 squared, all right, minus the log of two, and I'm gonna carry the three up here as a power, so that's plus log of three to the power of three, all right? So this is now equal to, I'm just going to simplify the 36 squared and the three cubed, so we now have the log of 96 minus the log of 36 squared, which is 1,296 minus the log of two plus the log, all right, the log of three cubed, which we know is 27. All right. So, this is now equal to, I'm going to use another laws of logarithm, all right? I'm going to use the subtraction law, all right? When you're subtracting two logs. So let me just refresh your memory on what that law says. If I have the logarithm of A minus the logarithm of B, then that is going to be equal to the logarithm of a over b, all right? So we divide the arguments a and b, good. So, but what you really have here is three logs, right? You have log 96 minus the log of one, two, nine, six, minus the log of two. So what I really have is something of this form, all right? The log of a minus the log of b, minus the log of c, all right? And that is going to be equal to the log of a over b, but you're dividing that also by c. So what you have is a divided by, all right? What you have is a divided by b times c, all right? So that's the rule that I'll be using here. So this is now equal to the logarithm of, I will have 96 in the numerator, 
And I'm going to divide that by the product of the other two, right? The product, which is 9,000, sorry, 1,296 times two, all right? So just following this law here, I'm just following that law right there, all right? So we have a plus log of 27 remaining, all right? So remember that we need to show that this is equal to zero. So we need to simplify further. So this is going to be equal to the logarithm of, now if you put in 96 divided by 1,296 times two in a calculator, it should simplify to one divided by 27, all right? And we have plus the logarithm of 27 remaining, and I'm going to use this law now. Let me write it here in blue. So you have the sum of two logs. All right, you have the sum of two logs. Not sure why my, I'm not sure why my logarithm is not showing up. I apologize for that. All right, so the rule says if I have the logarithm of A plus the logarithm of B, then that is going to be equal to the logarithm of A times B. All right, so that's the rule that I'll be using here. So what I have is the logarithm. All right, I have the logarithm of one divided by 27 and I'm multiplying that by this 27 here, all right? That's what I have. So clearly you can see that the 27s will cancel out, all right? The 27s will cancel out. So what I have left remaining is the logarithm of one. Now you ought to know that the logarithm of one is equal to zero, all right? Whatever base we have, the logarithm will be zero once this number in the bracket is one. So the log of one to the base 10 is equal to zero, all right? So that's what they ask us to show. So we can now come down here and write shown. All right, we have shown. Good. And that is the solution for this question for the laws of logarithms. All right. If this video has helped you in any way, please ensure to like the video, subscribe, and share it with your friends. All right. I'm Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica and a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.